Hey everyone, it's iTalkApple, and today's video is about checking up on the battery condition on your Apple laptop, and also how to maximize your battery life. So whether you have a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, or even one of the old MacBooks that was discontinued, this video should help you to get the most out of your battery life. I got most of this information from Apple support pages and I'll have links to them in the description because there might be some things on those pages that I don't cover in this video. Before I really get into the video, I might as well talk to you about the battery status icon. It's on the top right side of your menu bar on any MacBook. You just click on the little battery icon and that will change depending on if it's charging or not. And while it's charging, you can click on it to see how much time there is left until it's fully charged. If it's not charging, you can also see uh, how much time you have left in the current charge, like how much time you have left before the battery runs out. And you can also choose to always display the percentage of battery life left next to the icon, which is something that I like to do. While I was reading the Apple support pages, I learned that you can easily check on the condition of your battery by clicking on the battery icon in the menu bar and holding down the option key. Hopefully it says condition normal, which is what mine says, but it might say replace soon. This means that your battery still works, but it's losing its ability to hold a charge and you should probably take it to the Apple store, make an appointment at the Genius Bar, and you can get the battery serviced or replaced. If your Mac is a year old or less, then your one year warranty obviously covers that. And if you want to extend that warranty, I recommend buying Apple Care for the three year warranty. Okay, now let's talk about actually maximizing your battery life on your MacBook. Apple claims that the system setting that has the most impact on battery life is brightness. And I guess that kind of makes sense. So make sure that your brightness isn't all the way up when you're using your computer and you're worried about battery life. Um, it really shouldn't have to be all the way up. The computer screens get pretty bright, and when you do dim it, at first, yeah, it'll probably seem kind of dark, but your eyes adjust fairly quickly and you won't even notice that it was that much dimmer. The next tip is about calibrating your battery. Um, apparently, this doesn't really apply anymore if you have a MacBook that does not have a removable battery. So. Yeah, no MacBooks have removable batteries anymore, but if you have one of the older MacBooks, like from 2008, 2009, just the white ones, they have removable batteries, and Apple recommends that you calibrate them. I actually calibrate my battery with just about any device that I have that runs on a battery. What that means is that when you get a MacBook, you charge it up all the way, and then you use it until the battery is just about dead, then you recharge it all the way to 100%. And yeah, that's it. Apple recommends that you do this, the calibration process, once a month if you have a MacBook with a removable battery. And otherwise, I would say that you should just calibrate your device when you first get it. Even though they say it's not necessary, I don't know, it's just something that I like to do. Another thing you might want to consider, and this tends to be disputed on the internet, but I personally don't just leave my MacBook plugged in. Especially if it's at 100%, there's no point in plugging it in because why? I don't know. So yeah, what I do is if my laptop's at 100% and I'm not using it, I'll either put it to sleep, which does use a little bit of the battery, but it uses it quite slowly, or I'll turn it off completely. So yeah, that's a thing. The next several tips have to do with going into system preferences and turning off certain features that you aren't using, and also using the energy saver panel and system preferences to get better battery life. So I'm going to get onto my computer and show you in screencast form. The first thing I'm going to show you is energy saver. So open up system preferences and click on the energy saver icon. Make sure you've selected battery to specify that these are settings that are going to take effect when your computer is running just on battery power as opposed to being plugged into some power source. So I have my computer set to sleep after 10 minutes of inactivity and my display set to sleep after two minutes of inactivity. If you have your computer set to sleep after say one hour of inactivity, that means your computer is gonna be on and running um, even if you're not using it, if it's sitting, not plugged in, and that is a huge waste of battery power. So you should definitely um, drag those sliders to the left a little bit. In addition to the sliders, you should also put hard disks to sleep when possible and slightly dim the display while on battery power. So check those boxes. 
In general, you can turn off features and system preferences that you don't need to conserve battery life. One of those is the screensaver. So click on desktop and screensaver, select screensaver, and then where it says start after, click never. Another feature you probably don't need is Bluetooth. So if you don't have a Bluetooth device that you're using with your MacBook, click on Bluetooth and make sure that it's not checked on on. And this isn't a system preference, but another thing is don't leave peripheral devices plugged in if you're not using them. For example, if you have a hard drive plugged in that you're not actively backing up to or accessing files from, then it doesn't need to be plugged in. It's actually draining your computer's resources. Same goes for memory cards or external microphones that you're not using. And finally, if you're in an area where the Wi-Fi isn't accessible or there is no Wi-Fi available, then you might as well turn your Wi-Fi off. That way your computer is not actively searching for a Wi-Fi network. So you just go to this little airport icon, click it, and then click turn Wi-Fi off. And the last thing that you should do when checking up on your battery life is checking the battery cycle count. So go to the Apple logo, click it, and then go to About This Mac, then More Info, and then System Report. Under Power, look for the cycle count. This should be under Health Info. Actually, these steps um, vary depending on what operating system you're on. And I'm running Mountain Lion, which is the latest version of OS X but I'll put a link in the description for how to get there if you're on a previous version of the operating system. So generally between 500 and 1000 cycles is when the MacBook's battery goes to 80% of its original capacity and this varies. So in that same link that I'm going to have in the description, uh, you can find your model on this sort of spreadsheet and figure out uh, how many charge cycles it takes before your computer loses a certain amount of its original capacity. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully the tips were helpful, and if they weren't, hopefully you were slightly entertained by the video. Please leave a comment about what you thought or about anything, because I like reading your comments. It's actually my favorite part about making YouTube videos. So yeah, if you watched it, leave a comment, unless you don't want to, that's okay too. Anyway, that's it for this video, like I said already. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash italkapple for lots of tweets and things. And um, I also have a Tumblr, italkapple.tumblr.com. And I'm going to stop rambling now. Have a nice day.